What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be doing a quick workout with bottle bangles. We are just gonna start off with a couple of nice deep breaths. So I want you to come into a comfortable seated position on your mat. You can go cross-legged, legs out in front of you. Just take your hands right to the tops of your legs. Let your shoulders roll down your back and then reach the crown of the head up towards the ceiling. From right here, we'll take a big inhale, filling the belly and the chest up with air. And we'll exhale, let all of that air go, drop the shoulders down and back. Good, three more like that, nice big inhale. We'll exhale, drop the shoulders down and back. Good, two more, big inhale. And we'll exhale, drop things down and back. And last one, nice big inhale. And then we'll exhale, drop things down and back. Good. From right here, go ahead and grab onto your ball of angles. We are going to use them around the ankles today. We're gonna to go ahead and start um, with our feet out in front of us. We're gonna rock down onto our forearms, shoulders right on top of the elbows. Fingertips can point to your hips. We're gonna lift the knees so they come up above the hips. And all we'll do right here is inhale, we'll tap the right toes down. We'll exhale, lift the knee above the hip. Tap down with the left, lift it back up. We'll keep moving like this, tap and lift, we'll tap and lift. With the forearms down on the mat like this, I want you to think about pressing up and away from your mat so you find space through the front of your body, finding space from shoulder to shoulder, opening up the chest. Good, and then keeping your core pulled in nice and tight. Belly button draws to spine, hips pull to the ribs. Good, we're gonna do three more each side. Three and three, we'll go two and two, Last one, and one. We're gonna take the legs together, bring your heels together, toes apart. We're gonna push the legs out to straight and then bend the knees, pull it in. Push it out, squeeze the inner thigh together. Inhale, take it in. We'll do six more, six. We'll go five. This is four, three, two, and last one, shoot those legs out to straight, point the toes, we're gonna drop one leg down, lift the opposite leg, exhale, switch through center, switch and switch, switch and switch, good. Oh, my hip is feeling a little bit tender, so I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller for myself. Good, we'll do six more, six, six, five, five, four, four, last three, three, two, two, one and one, good. We're gonna pull everything in. Feet come down to the mat. We're gonna roll all the way down so that we come down onto our left side. You're gonna bend at the left elbow, bringing your um, left ear down onto your bicep. And then we're gonna shoot the legs so they go out at about a 45. So you're creating a banana shape with your body. From right here, we're gonna take our right leg, lift it up above the hip. You'll inhale to kick your leg forward to me. You're gonna exhale, flex your foot, sweep it on back. Now, if you start to feel a little bit too wobbly right here, all you're gonna do is tuck that left leg up underneath you. Forward and back. Good, we'll go forward and back. Now you guys have done this with me enough times that you know anytime we do side lying work like this, we're trying to keep the hips stacked right on top of each other. We're trying to keep this top leg working up in line with the hip. Good. Okay, we're gonna add onto this. Next time you kick forward, you're gonna flex your foot. You'll give me a lift and a lower, and then you'll keep the foot flex, sweep it right back. Inhale, kick forward, flex, lift, lower, sweep it back. Good. Oh man, I'm on a workout filming kick today. So if you're looking at these leggings and this outfit and you're like, God, hasn't she worn this before? The answer is yes, I have. I have worn it before. <laughs> I, um, if you guys don't know this, I sometimes, not all the time, sometimes I'll batch film my workout. So I end up wearing the same thing for like five workouts in a row. I always get, um, not comments on YouTube, but comments in my real life. My fiance, he like checks out my YouTube channel every day to check my subscribers and look at the thumbnails and whatever. And 
<laughs> when I wear the same outfit. He's like, um, do you have any other pants? It's kind of funny. Okay, next time that you sweep your leg back, you're gonna pause right there, keep the foot flex, we'll lift, lower. You're gonna kick forward, flex, lift, lower, kick back, keeping the foot flexed, you'll lift and lower. We'll keep going like that. And I'm paranoid, so I'm gonna make sure my mic is turned on. Sure is, we're good. Lift, lower, we kick forward, flex, lift, lower, kick it back, pause, lift, lower. Let's do six more. Lift, lower. This is five. This is four. We'll go three. Oh, ouch, this is two. Oh my gosh, and last one. You're gonna kick forward, flex, lift, lower, sweep it back, keeping the foot flexed, we'll lift and lower, good. And then you get to bring everything in. You're gonna pull that right leg in on top of your left. Give your hip a little bit of a tap. Take a nice deep breath. You got it under control. Okay, one more thing we're gonna do right here. Legs are gonna shoot back out to straight. We're gonna stay down on our mat. Just take your right hand so it comes right in front of you. It's gonna be helpful, I promise. Um, left leg's gonna stay where, it at, where it's at. You're gonna kick that right leg back so it's down in line with your hip. Nice straight line from the toe all the way to the crown of the head. We're gonna lift the left leg up a little bit off of the mat. Now from here, we're just gonna switch the legs. So left leg goes back, right leg pulls forward. We'll switch the legs. We keep going like this. I like to have my right hand down in front of me for a little bit of extra support. Gives me something to press into because not only is this gonna be a lot of work on the hips, it's also gonna get into our obliques a little bit because we're trying to stabilize pretty much our entire body. <laughs> Good. We're gonna do six more. Six, six, we'll go five, five, four, four, uh, three, three, two, two, last one, and one. And then you're gonna take everything in, pull the legs in, we're gonna roll all the way over so that we come onto our bellies. Hands come underneath the shoulders, you know I've gotta do some back extension for you. Tuck those elbows in nice and tight, we'll exhale to press away from the mat. Inhale, we'll take it right back down. We'll do that three more times, press away, pull it in. Good, this is two. And last one. Good, and then we'll bring everything down. We're just gonna roll right over so that we come onto our right side. You guys can literally just roll over, but I kind of have to maneuver myself around. Take an extra second if you need it. We're gonna bring the right hip down to the mat. Legs are gonna go out to a banana shape out in front of you. And then we'll come down onto our right, um, Right side, make a little pillow for your head with your right bicep. When you're ready, we'll take the left leg up in line with the hip. You're gonna point your toes, you'll inhale, kick forward, exhale, flex the foot, sweep it back. Now, just like with the first side, if you feel a little bit wobbly right here, you just tuck your right knee in underneath you. Now, I always find the second side's a little bit harder. I think that might just be a me thing, but I don't know, other people have said the second side's usually harder too. <laughs> There's a lot of reasons that it's harder. Anytime we're doing work like this, we're working into both hips to really try and stabilize the pelvis. So that's why it gets a little bit tricky. Also for a lot of us, um, one side of our body is gonna be a little bit stronger than the other. So like for me, my right hip is definitely stronger than the left. Okay, we'll start to add on. Next time you kick forward, pause right there, flex your foot, give me a lift. Lower, you'll kick your foot back, and then kick it forward, pause, lift, lower. It's so funny, the sidelining stuff, it's always the stuff that people love to hate because it is hard no matter how strong you get and how long you've been doing Pilates, it's always like the hardest part of a workout, I think. Sigh. <sighs> 
good. Good, you're doing great. The good news is it's a pretty short workout. Ooh, bad news is it's not over. <laughs> good, next time you kick back, pause right there, give me a lift, a lower, point your toe, kick forward, flex, lift, lower, back, pause, lift, lower, forward, flex, lift, lower. Let's do six more after this one. We'll go six. Oh my God, ouch. This is five. I'm gonna close my eyes and pretend I'm not here. We'll go four. Oh my gosh, you guys, I need to tuck my knee underneath me or else I'm not gonna make it through. This is three. We'll go two. And last one. Oh my God, ouch, my hip's gonna fall off. Lift, lower, take things in, pull the left leg in, give it a little bit of a tap, okay? You've got it, you've made it this far. We're gonna keep moving, because you can, and I know you can, okay? When you're ready, legs go back out. We've got the right leg in front, left leg is going to come behind. We've got a little lift in that left leg, and then take your left hand so it comes to the mat, so you can kind of press up and away. We'll lift the right leg just about an inch off of the mat. You're gonna exhale, switch the legs, left leg forward, right leg back, and then switch the legs. Now we wanna try, really, and balance on that bottom hip. There's a lot of reasons this one's hard. Let's do six more. All right, it's not a lot. Six, six, ooh, we'll go five and five. This is four and four, three, three, two, and two. Last one and one, and then we get to pull everything in. Legs can come together. You're gonna roll yourself over onto your back, and the good news is we've made it into the cool down stretches. So just come all the way down. We'll go, we can keep the ankle weights on. It doesn't really hurt us. Uh, left foot's gonna go down on the mat. Right ankle's gonna cross over the top of your knee. We'll take a figure four stretch from right here. If you feel like you need a little bit more, you're just gonna take your right hand, press it to your knee, really gently push the knee away from you. We'll hold right here for five, four, three, two, and one. Take the right foot down, just switch over to the other side. Left ankle over the top of the right knee. Left hand can come to your left leg, just really gently push away from you. And we'll hold for five, four, three, two, and one, take that left ankle down. Now we're just gonna hug the knees into the chest. We'll rock a little bit from side to side. Okay, take a deep breath, you got it. When you're ready to come on up, you can cross at the ankles, rock and roll on up. You guys made it all the way to the end. Good work today. Remember, you're awesome. You can do anything you put your mind to, and I will see you in our next video.